Welcome back to the van, just packing up, ready for my trip away. Uh, very excited about it because the weather is going to be lovely. Everything just looks better when the sun is shining. Look at that sunshine outside. That is incredible. What a beautiful day. I've got all the barbecue stuff ready. It's in the fridge. Fridge is full of beers. Ready to go. Anyway, you'll be able to see that uh, my video and audio quality has changed. That is because I've upgraded my camera and I've got myself a GoPro. Um, so I'm filming this on a GoPro rather than my mobile phone. I hope it's better, otherwise I've wasted a load of money. But I bought it second hand. I hope this has improved the audio and video quality really. It's just handy to carry around in your pocket and you don't have to have your mobile phone uh, ringing all the time when you're trying to video. The resolution is supposed to be better and the audio quality is supposed to be better and I've actually got a media mod that came with it. Because it was second hand somebody had bought a media mod saying that uh, he used it on his motorbike and it was to cut down wind noise. However it didn't cut down the wind noise so here we are. Shall I have a beer and a donut? Or a beer? Or a donut? I'll start with a donut and I'll move on to a beer. I know I seem to do a lot of product reviews but that's I'm, I don't get paid for them. What it is is everything that I've bought that I think was worthwhile buying and I would buy again and recommend to anyone else, I tend to do a review on it because I think, well, if it's a great idea and it works, why not share it with everyone who, who's in the same position as me? Um, so anybody who's traveling in a camper van or going camping in a camper van or a motorhome would benefit from the things that I suggest, I think. It's in my personal opinion, but there you go. Now... That being said, if you've got a dog, you're in for a treat. Because today, I'm going to tell you all about my dog's water bowl that I use for traveling. Now, I bought it from Amazon, and it's called a Road Refresher. Um, I don't know if anybody else with dogs has one of these. If you don't have one, I'd recommend you get one. They're absolutely brilliant. Never spilt a drop of water yet, even if Julie's driving. So... Yeah, it's a road refresher, and I'll tell you a little bit about it before I show you it. I'll put my glasses on. Um, road refresher holds approximately 1.4 litres, which is 54 fluid ounces, for those of you who work with metric. Um, instructions for use. Yeah, who reads instructions? But I'll tell you anyway. The instructions are, remove the top lid, which is this outer black ring that you can see there. That's the top lid and that just clips off um, and I'll do a demonstration on that so remove the top lid remove the top lid and it's as simple as that top lid is off there you go I stand up to get a bit of leverage there but that's the top lid the black lid so I'll put that to one side that bit comes out and you see this this holes in there in the middle now yes this is not fresh out of the packet. I use this all the time, but I just thought it's such a great idea that I'm going to share it with people. Okay, so that's the bowl. You can see there's a maximum fill line there. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Um, so you fill it up with there, put your fresh water in there, put this on top, and this sinks down to the level of the water, as you see. It's just happily demonstrated that for you. Then you push down on the middle and the water comes through the holes in the middle. And then that sort of floats on top so it gives the bowl just enough water for the dog to drink and as the dog drinks it pushes down with its tongue and the water keeps coming through the holes then this outer ring fits back on the top like that and then that goes on the floor there you go it's got little velcro feet on the bottom here that i find just fastened you don't even need to put the velcro pads on if you just stand there on your carpet it gets a good grip and never ever moves i've never spilt a drop the road refresher water bowl comes in two sizes um, a large will be 12.99 and a small will be 11.99 and they are from amazon and they currently have them in stock and you can get them delivered on prime so you can have a buy tomorrow if you do have dogs and you're going to travel I recommend one of those water bowls. I don't get paid to tell you that, but they are fantastic. So if you've got dogs, then consider buying one. I don't see what you could say negative about this bowl, really. It just does what it says on the tin. Something else worth mentioning is uh, I've chosen the gray bowl there uh, for my dogs. However, if you would like a pink one, they are the same, pro well, they're a penny dearer. So you can have a pink one for a penny more. See that? Pink one there, can you see that? Pink one for a penny more. But there's only one pink one left in stock, so be quick. There are 
um, other size balls and other brands available. There's a square one I've seen on Amazon there. There are all different shapes and sizes, different prices. But that's the one I use. And uh, like I say, it's absolutely perfect. Works a treat. So I'm off to the lakes tomorrow. So look out for the review of that campsite. I think it's called Troutbeck. It's a caravan and motorhome club site. It'll be the first one I've visited. So look out for the review on that site coming very soon. Hopefully the weather's going to be like this. It is forecast to be like this and it's absolutely cracking the pavements at the moment. So I think I've been lucky with the weather, but there you go. Thank you very much for listening to me waffle on. I'm going to end this video now by saying if you like what you see, give a thumbs up. Hope you've been entertained or you've learned something new from this and if it's been of any benefit to you at all then please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Happy trails! See you soon. Bye.